Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another, this is a mixed plate embellishment project share. Um, and it's all Halloween embellishments using either Doodle Book Collections or um, the Spooky Nights. I think that's what it's called, Spooky Nights by Simple Stories. So as you can tell, I've been very busy. So some of these things I did make ahead of time, like some of the rosettes um, and some of the other stuff. Not too much though. And the majority of it was done yesterday, <laughs> like on the Saturday. I basically locked myself in my craft room all day just to get some of this stuff done. Um, I thought I had more done and I do have, but I ended up using some of them on these projects. Um, and some of them are still like, I can use it later, but I just wanted to get, um, a variety done so that, um, when I, I have a couple swaps I need to get out and I want to make sure that I have enough stuff to play with. And I'm not sure what I'm going to give them yet, but I just wanted to get a lot of this stuff done. So I want to document it here so that I can go back later and see what did I do. Um, cause I'm going to give them away, but then at least I can share it with all of you. Hopefully it inspires you also to bust out your stuff and use it. Um, some of these collections I've been hoarding for a while. Um, some of them I just want to get used up the paper. And so that's why you'll see some of some older, um, papers as well. And then I did modify something. So it was actually kind of fun. And I got to use some of the dyes that I've been meaning to use. Like sometimes I'm at work and I'm like, oh, I think I want to make this. And then I just don't have the energy when I go home to do it. Um, so it was good because I actually did it. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to get off your butt and do it. So that was my motivation for this weekend. So anyway, I just wanted to share all of this. And I know in my last video, I said that I was probably going to be sharing the um, swap share at the end, but I probably am going to move that up to the beginning. So if it's all out of order, that's the reason why, but I'm filming it all on the same day. So, okay, let's get started because this is a lot to go through. So I'm going to start with the rosettes because that's pretty easy, you know, and cut and dry. So, um, I did, okay. So first of all, I did use that new, Kiss Crafts dies. There's about three different rosettes. And the main difference is how pointy um, the inside is. A lot of people were saying they had a hard time with it because they couldn't um, fold it. So I don't know. I didn't have that much difficulty. Um, I'm wondering if you have to use a less thick cardstock. Maybe that might help. I'm not sure. But anyway, and I had this ghost made. I shared that in, the, in a previous video. And then I just found some sentiments from the chit chat from Doodlebug and I added that to so it looks like he's holding the sign. Um, and these rosettes are huge like this although um, it's big to me this is big I actually cut it so it would have been bigger um, when you cut it it's almost in half then you get like another rosette you can make and so I'll show you some of the other ones that I actually ended up making using the other part of it so but anyway this is I just wanted to try and make it um, I think I had to die cut it two times Two, yeah two times um to make the rosette and but then instead of just two one rosette you'll get two right because yeah anyway so that's one and then i used the other ghost on the other one because again he's kind of big and so i don't know if you can see the difference in the, the see this one goes in a lot and this one is less pointy i don't know it's more pointy but i don't know it's just a different look um, and then I added in this ticket from the Doodle Book collection. Here's what the back looks like. So I did those two. And then this is like one of the um, ones that was like the leftover piece. So I just made it into a rosette as well. This one I did add in some of that eyelash trim I just purchased. Um, you can't really see too much, but I did use the um, Glitterific um, like I did before. And this is the candied apple that I had shared in a previous video and I just added this ghoul friends onto the top of it so I thought that came out kind of cute um these are some of the other rosettes I made so this is the other one of that same type from chaos crafts and then um, I decided to use the 31st and then add in the dracula behind him and then here's the um this is the leftover of this rosette and then I made another one uh, just a plain one and then added the bat with the word eek um, I did glitter this one up because it, um, doodle bugs, if doesn't have glitter. Okay, so th that's these two. And then 
Is that all the rosettes? No, I have more. Okay, so but I'll do that one after. Okay, then um, then I started. Sorry, I had to think about what I was gonna say. Um, okay, I'll t I'll share this next. Okay, so this is not anything new. I'm sure all of you have done this before. Um, but I used the bat die from one of the Kiss Crafts. I think it was Kiss Crafts. One of my new die sets. Um, and it's the bat die. Um, and then I just added a bow. But then I saw Poochie use the large clay ghost and I'm like oh my god that's so cute so I added that here <laughs> thank you Poochie for that idea oh my god I love these ghosts I want to get more before it's like out of season but they're so cute this is the larger size ghost there's a smaller size than this but these are two um bow, bat bows that I made um and then I okay so this is another project that I've been waiting for um to try and I just never had the time or energy to do it it's actually a new die that I picked up maybe oh, I don't know maybe it's not that new um but it looks like a ribbon right like you know like those blue ribbons and stuff and it's I think it's by impression obsession and um there's actually coordinating pieces that go in the middle that will um, die cut sentiments that'll per fit perfectly like congratulations and stuff like that but um, there's also a Halloween set. I didn't pick that up. I was thinking about it and then I just ran out of time. So I ended up just trying to make it on my own. So these are actually a good um, alternative for a rosette. Uh, and it kind of ruffles your paper and then it goes makes it go into a circle. So you do need to cut three of that piece in order to make the full rosette. And then, um, and then I just use hot glue and then I mount the, this piece over it and then um and then it has these two layering pieces and then i put another one on the back to kind of hide everything so um this one i did use that spooky nights collection um i love this ghost they're so cute so some of these are chipboard and some of these are no these are just ephemera and i just used a lot of foam tape and then I use some of the puffy stickers with that. Um, I also made this one from the same collection. So this one I put the cat. Um, I love this pennant. If you know me, I, I've always talked about how I like pennants. And I don't make it. I have a diet and I just haven't done it. But I like it. I think it's super cute. And here's a spell book. And then um, so you can kind of see the ruffle part of it. Here's the back. So I made two with that collection. And I made two using Doodlebug. Um... I think they came out super cute like I want to make more I don't know what I'm gonna use them on but I think they're so cute I wonder if that'll be cute on top of my bags my shaker bags and stuff I think it'll be cute on a gift bag actually oh my god they're so adorable okay and then the last one I made um was I really wanted to make a Hello Kitty one so I did use my Hello Kitty witch um die cut which I actually was a print and cut from the internet and I um i did it what is it called print and cut on cricket so that's how i made her okay next <laughs> next okay then i made this is like getting into the evening when i was working on this one okay so i i've been wanting to make shaker stars because i feel like stars um go with halloween for some reason especially black stars so i wanted to make a bunch of shaker stars so this is what i came up with um i did use the same two collections again so let me just share with you here's the doodle bug ones i came up with um so it's hard to see the paper i don't know why i even try to bother using the paper um because the shaker parts just go right over it um but then i used the ghost and then i try to find a, um, a sentiment that goes with it and then here's the pumpkin one and I did an owl one this time. So that's the three I made using Doodlebug. And then I did make some using that other collection. I really like that. This shaker mix. It's so cute. See, so it has the big ghost and the small ghost. It's so cute. And then um, I did one with the candy and the trick-or-treat bag. And then, see, I just like the ghost. So these two ghosts I actually died. Um, I fussy cut from the paper because I was running out of ephemera because I had done so much. Um, embellishments earlier okay so that's the stars okay so after you cut the star this is a um, die from I got from Aliexpress a while ago I don't even know which company it was um, but after you cut the star out then you get the stars <laughs> so I decided to use that um, on another project so these um, I just used some of the rosettes that I had already cut 
and I just added um, an ephemera piece on top. So, and I put the star in the back. So it looks more like a star. I have the rosette. Um, this one is a cotton candy from Doodlebug, but I added on the face um, using a lawn fawn dye. And then, um, if you can see here, I added on a charm, a star charm. That's perfectly the same color as the cotton candy. Um, and then I did a pumpkin one using the pumpkin charm. I like that one a lot, actually. And then I did one with the cake, and then I added a, a star charm. Okay, so that was pretty fun. And then this morning I did these. So I already had the, the coffee cups already cut. These are actually a lawn fawn dye um, where you can make shaker mugs. But I just wanted to make regular plain um, embellishments, not shakers, because I have so much shakers going on. Um, and then I added on the candy ephemera and then the word candy. That's also from that. I think it's Impression Obsession. And then this one I did the Frankenstein with the word spooky and then the ghost with the word ghoul. That these came out really cute. And then I made the huge one. So these are a uh, die that I had purchased off of AliExpress. Um, and they're really big. I think it's supposed to be like a gift card holder, but I didn't make the cuts for that. Oh gosh, I hope it can come out. Did I glue you together on this thing? Oh, maybe I did glue it. Oh gosh. I glued it on back. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it. Hold on. Hold on, please. Okay. Okay, so it's supposed to come out. It's supposed to come out. So you can write like your message over here. Um, I did glue two pieces together so that I could have a pocket to stick the whipped cream stuff in. And then this, this die set um, came with this die set. And I thought it was like the whole mug. That's the picture that they have on the um, the packaging. It's a Trinity um, stamp set dies. But um, yeah, I did, it didn't come with the mug. So I was like, oh my gosh, now I got to find a mug. So luckily I had this big one because it was it's big. These, these eyes are big. So I don't think I would have been able to use it on other smaller mugs that I have. So... Anyway, I thought it came out really cute. I just got these straws too, so I'll share that in a haul. I have a ton of hauls to do as well. Um, but I thought that it was cute with the straws. And then I just added some of my sequins as the sprinkles. So I did a ghost and I did a pumpkin. In the pumpkin, I put the little kawaii candy corns. And then I used the striped straw. And then I used the jack-o'-lantern face. Again, he had a nose, but I didn't like it, so I didn't put it. And then I just hot glued the straws to the back. So that is my huge um, plate lunch. <laughs> Mixed plate. <laughs> Not plate lunch. Wait, can you tell I'm going crazy? Okay, so my huge mix plate Halloween embellishment um, project shares. So, oh, I'm sorry. I have one more. I didn't share this one. Okay, so I did do um, the kissing booth um, that, you know, KS Crafts had um, sold me a long time ago <laughs> and I made it into a shaker and then I added in um, like a Frankenstein who's manning the booth and I made it more like a ticket booth because um, like Candy Carnival I think that's what they have and then this guy is in his pumpkin costume so I thought that that was kind of cute this one you can just totally pop on a card and then you're done um, so I just wanted to share that I only made one of that okay so again that was my um, mixed plate embellishment Halloween embellishment share and I have still more things to share so I will be back with another video. Bye!